So this was uh, one of the questions in today's uh, assignment, and uh, I received a few feedback received uh, how to solve this uh, equation, how to find the answer of this assignment question. And here we can see that just uh, imagine that this is my three dimensional plane here. X, Y, Z are the, uh, the plane coordinates. And here we have uh, two charges. So 20 nanocoulomb and minus 20 nanocoulomb are located at 1, 0, 0, 0. So that means uh, 20 nanocoulomb is located at 1, 0, 0, 0. That is, it is located at here uh, because X is 1 here and Z is 0. Y is here, and this is your uh, Q1. And um, another charge is located at uh, 0, 1, 0. That means another charge is located at here. At this point, Q2, the coordinate of this point is of 0, 1, 0. And the question is uh, uh, the calculate the electrical field intensity at 0, 0, 1. So where is the 0, 0, 1? Let us, let us consider this point is the point P, and uh, its coordinate is 0, 0, 1. And you have to find, you have to find the electric field intensity at this point. You have to find what is the electric field intensity at this point due to two charges. What is electric field, what is E at uh, P? due to q1 and what is e at p due to q2 and we know that uh, uh, the way to find the electric field and density p so for that you have to calculate what is the distance between uh, q1 and p and also you have to find the distance between q2 and p then you have to use the formula for E. So E is nothing but E at E at E at the P equal to Q1 divided by the 4 pi epsilon naught let R 1 P. I'm taking R 1 P because uh, 1 indicates the charge 1, P indicates the point P. R1 square into, I, I also we need to take account of uh, what is the direction of the that field. So that direction is, let us take it as A1P, let us say A1P. So how to find A1P? A1P. So it is very easy to find A1P because it is, what is the, what is the point at Q1, 1, 0, 0, X? That is, 1ax plus 0ay minus 0az, sorry. What is this one? So, a12, a1p is the vector. So, what is the uh, coordinates of q1? That's 1001, 100. Zero, zero, one. That is 1ax plus 0ay plus 0 a z minus this is the coordinate of q1 what is the coordinate of p 0 0 1 that is 0 a x 0 a y minus plus 1 a z then that is all divided by the modulus of the difference let us take this is r1 let us take this R2. So what is the model of this? That is R1 minus Rp is the model. So you will get A1P. So you have to multiply A1P with this, the magnitude of uh, the field intensity, then you will get a vector. So this is this is a scalar, scalar quantity. But when you multiply the scalar quantity with the force, which is acting along uh, some vector, so on one direction, that is, this is the vector. So when you multiply scalar and vector, you will get a vector. Let us take it as E1P, that is electric field due to Q1 on P. Similarly, you have to find what is E2P at P. The same formula, the one difference is instead of Q1, here becomes Q2, 
instead of R1P in the second equation, it become R2P and instead of A1P, it become A2P. And do everything and you need to find what is the total, total E at P. So what is the total E? That is the sum of E1P plus E2P. One stands for the charge Q1, two stands for charge Q2, and P stands for the location of the point that is along the Z axis. Now try this mother to find the answer of the second questions. Okay, try your luck. <laughs> 